The alt-right is not really a pretty sight. Not the actual alt-right. But people don't seem to want to discuss that. So why don't I show some of that here? Milo yeah. recently did an interview, I caught it uh, right away, where he was talking about the alt-right. And uh, there's a lot of things that we have to say about it. So I think we should just queue it up and mm -hmm. make some comments. Let's just hammer this thing. And what is the alt-right? <laughs> no, I mean, I've never identified as the alt-right. The press seems determined to crown me the queen of it. Um, all I've done is give them a fair hearing in the press. I think that white identity and white nationalism is a little misleading. I think it's more accurate to say that the alt-right cares what? about Western supremacy rather than white supremacy. It cares about Western values. It cares about liberal, capitalist, Western democracy, democratic <laughs> values, freedom, equality, that kind of thing. And it sees, you know, various threats to those on various fronts. Yeah. Okay, the alt-right has everything to do with white identity and whites being supreme in their own countries. Oh, look, more identity politics. Just what we need. And then he claims that uh, alt-right cares about liberal values, capitalism, democracy, equality. I mean, none of these. This is utter bullshit. Either he truly doesn't understand or he's just being shifty and redefining it to water it down. So what, what, what's funny here with Milo is that he's saying that it's like it's a it's a kind of a no that's a mis misnomer to kind of suggest that there's like white identity or white you know so to say that white european people that are living in europe are not supposed to be supreme in their own countries that's retarded of course that's it is. like the default nature of any country you're gonna have han chinese people be the supreme in china why is it just that we can't be supreme in our own countries? Because this country wasn't founded to be a whites-only country. Yeah, and right? the whole alt-right movement, which extends into Europe and nationalism, this is the number one issue. It's white identity and whites being supreme in their land. So I don't understand how he is missing that. What is going on here? Don't know. What do you mean by American values? Well, the First and Second Amendment, freedom of speech, free expression, the, you know, the right to be, do and say whatever you want. These are the, the values that have made America the greatest country in the history of human civilization. <laughs> Burgers, yeah, America, right? It's burgers God. and you know, guns and freedom and <laughs> the greatest, <laughs> the greatest of human civilization. Was he talking? About what I think is really pathetic is that you're making fun of him for saying that, but then you all turn around and say this. You can take the Constitution, which is the greatest thing ever. You can take the Constitution, which is the greatest thing ever. You can take the Constitution, which is the greatest thing ever. And then, no, he mentions it's values that make the this values, place great. This exactly. is a cultural libertarian viewpoint. He's part of that whole group of cultural libertarians. No, it's the stock of Europeans who upheld those values and find them important that have made this country great. It's not just the values. They don't spring out of nowhere, <laughs> do they? Well, that's what he thinks. I mean, I think it just rises out of nowhere, and then it doesn't matter. You can take the Constitution, which is the greatest thing ever. You can take the Constitution, which is the greatest thing ever, uh, and it's just, I guess it's just kind of a, a coincidence that it didn't arise in uh, in other countries in Africa or in other parts of Asia or something. You I know? guess so. I really don't know what this guy's thinking. These are values that are not compatible with some of the Islamic immigration that we see in Europe. <laughs> yeah, so he's only worried about, this is an interesting point, we've talked about this before, the only worried about the Islamic factions, right? Yeah. Because obviously, I mean, I mean because this Islam doesn't allow for his, his precious gay rights, you know. The real alt-right here in the United States will throw Milo to the curb with no problem, with no hesitation, if Trump gets elected and they have more of a chance of pushing forth their actual platform. It's just that it's Muslims. You know, just, yeah. as, just as long as they become good, good liberals in tune with these guys when they come in, no problem. It's we the, can be racially paideia, replaced. The paideia outlook, exactly. Nothing about racial demographics. Whites are being replaced. I never hear, I mean, he does comment on some white politics here and there, but he never says, hey, whites are being replaced. That's what the alt-right is mad about. Anti-white politics, the constant war on white. He's just not saying that. It's just Islam, 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 right? Yep. Except for all the others who are saying, oh, it's, there's a black problem and they need to they need to fix the black problem because, you know, the blacks. You know, all the live lifes and the AIUs and the autopsy 87s, you know, black people need to stop committing crimes. Black people need to stop committing crimes. Black people need to stop committing crimes. And then uh, offer no solution. You just want people to be angry. 
Um, well, you know, they need to stop committing crimes. Yeah, as if that's the answer. You know, lots of people like that. But you can't actually get them to admit their real views, which are more like uh, what you're finding on this show from uh, Red Ice. Uh, they, they put faces like Milo or even like Molyneux or Chernovich, right, on, on, this, on this grouping. Yeah, and I think it's uh, I think it's done. I, I don't know yet. I, I can't say that it's like oh, it's a conspiracy. They've done it to uh, to kind of derail uh, all the hard work that many people on the alt right have ha has done. You know, uh, but, but we have to remember all, some of those yeah. people that you mentioned not too long ago were calling us and other people in the alt right white supremacists and neo Nazis, and course. now those are the same people that are saying, yeah, I'm hashtag alt right. Well, if you think that white people should be supreme in the countries where white people are in the majority, I mean, what's the fucking difference between that and white supremacists? When it comes to action, when it comes to the way that you think people should be treated and looked at according to the laws and everything else, I mean, what's the fucking difference? There isn't really much. I mean, I understand there is a difference. I'm not going to say that these things are exactly the same. But for you to get all pissy about being called racist for, for wanting to segregate countries and basically kick everyone out that aren't white, or you have no problem with the idea of things being more difficult for those that aren't white, yeah, fuck you. You suck.